Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Darwinian campaign in Divide and Conquer. Yes, episode 19, I believe. And things have been going all right, uh, pretty well, to be fair. Uh, we are, we do now have another army, Vine Lord Swain, big Swainy boy with a very nice army, ready to go and take Trustore off the Dolgador. It does sound like an Italian name, doesn't it? Oh no, it's Tusture. Tusture! Sounds like an Italian name. <laughs> In my head anyway now. Uh, but anyway, um, let's carry on. We have built everywhere and we're still making a lot of money. Now that really tells me that we need to start upping our game with our recruitment hubs because we are falling behind on military-wise. Quite significantly, I would say, against sort of the uh, the powerhouses out there like Mordor and uh, even Dolgador, really. They're just pumping out stacks constantly. But let's press the end turn and let's see how we get on. Um, yeah, and I think it's about time, guys, to start thinking about what you think is going to be the next faction you'd like to see us play. Because... Uh, I do want to do another Divide and Conquer campaign on the channel at some point, whether it's exactly the next one. In fact, I'm I'm generally thinking that I'm going to do an Empire Total War 2 campaign next, potentially. So that should be good fun. But uh, yeah, do let us know in the comments down below who you'd like to see. Do comment evil factions because I will do an evil faction. We have done a good faction. We did Isengard first. We've done Darwinian now, which is a good faction. And honestly, I was quite surprised that Darwinian got the vote. But uh, yeah, whatever whatever you comment down below, guys, we can, we can run a vote and we can see what evil factions we want to play. But there may be an Empire Total War 2 campaign in the middle of there. But we shall see. Harad's leader is dead. Good. Good. That is good for us. Why do they... They love putting guilds in all of these places that are not exactly fantastic. Rawberg... Very, very upset. Would be nice if we could, you know, add in an extra unit into one of these places. I wonder whether Vine Lord Swain... No mercenaries are available right now. Let's go and block them off so they can't go straight for Rawberg. I'm wondering... Okay, Carverad's getting attacked. We do have some good troops on the way. We do have, you know, pretty much enough nearly for another army. Or once this army's fully retrained... Uh, once this army is fully retrained, we'll be able to get another really good army over here. Yes, You're going to Ilanin. Yes. Um, I think we've got an Avari Naharim in here as well, which is pretty cool. Oh, we can actually retrain those guys now and get some shadows and get another spearman. Nice. I think this, this army is going to be very nice indeed. Again, let's get a Thorn Guard in there. Men of the Thorn. Let's get one of those in there. We're getting some nice traits in our governors now. So money, we should be making quite a significant amount all around the Sea of Rune. We are making a lot of cash. Um, ah, we can finally upgrade Naburka. Did it? I was going to say, is it? Is it let us know? It's not let us know. Well, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? But anyway, <laughs> not much we can do about that. Nice experience in this army. Look at that Avari Naharim. Absolutely superb. Um, and I think we'll be able to retrain them hopefully soon. But if not, we've got the ones down below. We've got the uh, uh, armorer there now as well. Now we can get the Avari armorer. Oh, baby. Things are looking up, aren't they? Things are looking up. Very nice indeed. Let's stick that in straight away. Enmahath, we've got the chicken farming. Honestly, all this region really needs roads. So, I mean, it's a connecting region to uh, Mordor. So, Definitely, we need the roads, I think, in there. Uh, Mornithel got the Thorn Armory. Uh, can we get the next level? No, I think we'll need the Lord's Hall, won't we? So let's get the Lord's Hall. Uh, actually, no, let's go for the Guildhouse. Oh, how have we spent that much money straight away? Probably because that's extremely expensive. No, 2,600. That's very cheap. I mean, the roads are expensive. I mean, we did retrain and recruit a lot of troops there so next turn i guess we'll be back to building everywhere <laughs> hopefully uh we shall see dolgador is just honestly the most annoying annoying people in this whole whole mod right let's go straight for varfest then that should hopefully 
bring back some of the troops along here that are going for Emma Hearth and Burr Emerikis. You're going for Austin Airy. Yep, good. Borderlands do need generals in there. Do we have a... Yeah, we've got a militia garrison in here, so not too worried about them attacking that. But Carvrad definitely doesn't, but we do have a lot of troops nearby. What army is that? I mean, we don't know. It could be a really good one. It could be a terrible one. Buralga, we're going to have to be very careful next turn. They have got siege equipment now, so hopefully they attack, because I'd rather do that than try and take them out. You know, it's going to be a bit awkward trying to take them out with two archers. So, yeah. These guys all need to get their armor upgrades when they can. So, let's get everyone in here who's had the armor upgrade. Well, it's not everyone, actually, is it? Who has had the armor upgrade? Not many people. Look like the armor upgrade's gone on many people, so... We'll see. We'll, we'll move them back across and get them uh, trained up before we get going again. That's getting a new port now as well. Very nice. That's what we like to see. Avalyn's Rest. We've got some good troops in there. Honestly, like this has uh, watchtowers around. Where are the watchtowers? Because Ah, there they are. You just can't really see them. So we can actually see we're so close to Baradur, which I would love to go and take. But we're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place right now. Let's go and see what's going on at Baradur anyway. See what they're doing. There's Mount Doom. Having a good time. But let's press that end turn again then and see what the AI decides to do. But I hope you've been enjoying this campaign, guys. If you have, do stick a like down in the comments below. Uh, this series generally gets a lot less likes than a lot of the others in terms of the ratio. Uh, you know, the Seleucid one generally is a ratio of about 10% of people. Uh, stick a like in there. But if you are enjoying this, then uh, do stick a like down below. It, it allows me to keep keep it going. Um, because, you know, when, when some of these series come out and they don't do as well as some of the others, you think, why why carry on with them and, and, you know, do them when not many people obviously want to watch them. But it does keep us going with all those likes and uh, comments as well uh, from you guys. And also, I love Divide and Conquer, so I'm obviously going to finish the campaign off. It's a really, really good fun, uh, fun mod. I'm probably looking at about 30 episodes for this one, I guess. Isengard was 50, uh, but I doubt we'll have to go that long. That was mainly because of a couple of setbacks <laughs> that led to us having to, you know, rethink our strategy in that, in that campaign. Uh, whereas this one is a lot, uh, a lot simpler so far. <laughs> we'll say that anyway. Hmm, just having a nice sip of coffee. Very good. Uh, but they've actually decided to attack now. Good on them. Thank you for that, AI. What do they have, though? We actually couldn't see before, could we? Just standard Dolgador shite. Yeah, standard Dolgador shite uh, is the way I'm going to describe it. And this is a fantastic little spot to fire some arrows from, isn't it? If the guys will go there. So bad at getting into position. There we are. I think that'll be quite good because I think most of them will shoot straight. Rather than up in an arc. But we shall see. I'm wondering whether we get one of you guys in shield wall. And the other one just standard formation. Yeah, you can stay like that for now and then we'll put you like this. I mean, the ram might even get destroyed, so, you know. Oh, they've got ballista, not even rams. I mean, this, this tower's firing, though. Good on it. Nice. I'm assuming they're going to go for the gate. Looks like they're actually attacking this wall. This wall here. So, I guess... Go there. Normally they decide to do two things though. They normally decide to make two openings and then only go for one. Which is quite strange. As long as my guys aren't getting hit by the ballistas. Such terrible aim towers. Come on. Get a bit better aim than that my friend. <gasps> ah, just burnt one of them. Good. Oh, and that actually killed a few of my men. Oof. Now are they going to go for the gate? Are they going for the gate now? What are they doing? Are they going for the towers? Oh no, they're just going to charge. Good.
Good, 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 good. That's what we want, rather than the ballistas just doing their worst. You guys get there. Yeah, they are still going for the gate, but everyone's going to have charged in anyway, so it's fine. But now we're getting some good shots on them as they come across. Very nice. Uh, we'll keep you on guard mode. Fire at the Wag Marauders if you can. They're going to be the, the worst issue for us. <sighs> that ballista fire is horrible. That was a really good shot by them. Oh, look at those arrows raining over now. What a great little settlement this is to defend with that curve and the height. Oh, we're pushing them back pretty nicely. I was just going to say when I was looking at the map then, who's that other person? But it's the goddamn uh, ballista. What fools. The Wog Marauders aren't even running away yet. Oh, they're actually firing at my archers now. Surely that's killed them. Come on. How much? How good is their armor? Let's speed this up. It doesn't need to be slow, this, does it? There we are. Kill the general. Good. What else have they got? Kill them. Come on. I want you guys to be able to go and fire at them. Have we finished fighting? Well, let's go kill the ballista then. Everyone charge. Come on, men. Men of the thorn. Men of the thorn. Men of the thorn. <laughs> I can't stop saying that. It's just so funny. Men of the thorn. I know, I'm not going to say it again. Uh, but go on, men of the vine. <laughs> Go and kill all the blisters. I mean, we've killed everyone. Like, they, they literally didn't rout, which is pretty good of them, to be fair. It's like they're fighting to the death for this settlement. Fair play, Dolgador. I respect that. I respect that. But yeah, good victory. Good victory. Some good, uh, good result. And I will see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, guys. Sorry, I was just distracted by something. But it looks like we have got besieged. Where's this? Cargacore. Smith skilled. I mean, no. Let's decline that because we don't want a really good smith skilled there. I know it's going to take a while for it to come back. Uh, they want a trade agreement with Isengard. Ah, oh, it looks like there we are. Carverad has come under siege. So, I think it's time to send out a few men. It's going to have to be cavalry, it looks like. Your orders, my lord. Uh, unless a general can get there. I mean, Edwardin can kill all these guys single-handedly, probably. So, let's see what they have on offer. They got Marauders, Uruk Slayers, Mirkwood Uruk, and Goblin Headhunters. Let's see whether Edwardin can actually recruit any mercenaries. Oh! Oh, baby! Hit me with your rhythm stick. Let's go. Let's get a few of those mercenaries. You get some mercenary captain from that as well. Strondost, got the Thorn Guard, and it's getting a few more troops, good. Uh, Santanui, got one guy to retrain, can't retrain any of these guys yet, unfortunately. But we are waiting for the Armourer as well. Strondost got the ship right, good, that should really increase the trade over here. Let's go for the mines, shall we? I mean, it's not a huge increase, but it's something nonetheless. Karasant got the winery. Definitely time for the shipwright and Karasant to get it uh, even more monies. But where are we not building then? Oh, I think a lot of the building before was uh, repairing then, was it? Vilta. Vilta, Vilta, Vilta. He's got free upkeep. Good. So we don't need to build the next level of thing. Let's go for the chicken farming and Vilta. Avalyn's Rest. Could get an Armourer. I think we go for the Lord's Hall, to be honest, with the amount of troops we've got in here right now. Lord's Hall. And then, unfortunately, the rest of them. I mean, Rawberg, we can't build in it anyway. But Austin Eri and Kargokor can't really do too much uh, there. Now, these armies, yeah, they're kind of retreating. Baradur is just unprotected, though. And, yeah, it'll be such a really, really good settlement, Baradur. As in a really good... It's a castle, isn't it, Baradur? I believe. Citadel, yeah. But I think we can go for it, you know. But I don't think we can leave Kargukor like this. 
Let's try and retrain these guys, though, and get them some extra armor. Uh, can't retrain those boys just yet, but that's fine. You guys are going in Austin Airy. Uh We are sieging down Varfest. What do they have in here? If they've got one single shit unit... Yeah, we'll auto-resolve that. We don't need to uh, play that out. They killed 72. I mean, it was an archer unit, so it is possible, especially with the towers. But yeah, let's sack the settlement. It's going to have destroyed a few of the buildings in there, very likely. Guard barracks, we don't need that. I know the law's good. We can keep the catapult, ra uh, catapult range. We don't need that. We don't need the brawler's pit. Blacksmith, hunting lodge, great hall. Way station, Master Mason's Hall. Yeah, we'll keep all the rest of that. Let's repair that and let's build that. Uh, apparently, we can retrain a load of the men. I'm assuming that's because of the blacksmith. So, do the same thing again. Wait, did we just get 4,000 from taking that? Oh, from deleting the buildings. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm being dumb today. Well, when I say today... <laughs> I'm being done dumb often, but uh, yeah, Buralga, they've gone, obviously. Now the elves have finally taken that. Good. That's very good for us. That'll, uh, you know, protect our northern flank here. So we can pretty much just go here, here, and then down. There's one in the middle of there, isn't there? This one, and then probably go straight for Dolgador. And we'll be a pretty expansive empire at that point, which is pretty nice. Only problem we have here is that, you know, this settlement and this army is just so so damaged do we have any mercenaries available we do let's get a rovanian spearman let's get all three actually i know we're buying a lot of mercenaries but let's get all three because we need some extra troops and let's go get rid of the rovanian hunters let's see whether varfest is happy no it's not at all about the rovanian spearman still only 50 percent how much order does that? That's five. And I mean, that's another 15. Let's wait a single turn to see what happens, and then we'll move next turn. Because there might be a massive Mordor army on the way as well that we just don't see right now. Uh, but yeah. Let's uh, make sure we build in the settlements we've not been building in. So Austin Erie. Let's go for the trading posts. And then Kargukor. Let's go for the tomb in Cargo Court. Uh, and yeah, we could actually start moving some of these boys across as well if we wanted. And yeah, we, we should be able to get rid of these guys to go and retrain them now, to be honest. So these boys, they can all go for retraining at Strondost. What do we have in Strondost now? Decent little bit of an army. I think this army would be quite nice to send them south again. You're going up to Ilanin, aren't you? Right, let's do this battle. And it's saying that, you know, it's even. But it's not even. Look at that cavalry, guys. Like, we're going to shred these guys. They've got the goblin striders. Oh, dear me. Hate that unit. Well, anyway, <laughs> I will see you all on the map, guys. Here we are, guys. And yes. Ready to have a go at them if we think we're hard enough, which we definitely are hard enough to deal with this army. We could probably just honestly just charge straight through them and win, but let's not do that because we will lose a few troops doing that. Where are they? Well, let's go. We'll get our infantry straight in there. And cavalry can come here. And we should just be able to absolutely ruin them. Don't want to get the Goblin Headhunters, you know, fighting us. Or the Mirkwood Urux, really. We'll have to... Ch we want to charge them in the back. I mean, Goblin Striders. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough, mate. Yeah, this is the experienced Thorn Rider as well. So that's going to be even better. Nice. Let's go. Wild Marauders. Let's have a little go at them. We should absolutely shred this cab. Looks like these guys are actually taking a bit of a dam damage here now. Speed it up slightly. Two smaller sort of skirmishes today, I guess. 
Well, the best thing about this is all these rebel, uh, all these mercenary cav don't need to worry about them whatsoever. Honestly, I think I might send them down to Norway. Uh, not great if the other guys come into this fight. So let's get out. Also, don't want Edward in to die. That would be pretty, pretty darn bad. Let's get over here then. Come on, Ben. Right, let's come back up this way. Don't know what they're doing. Like, why aren't they attacking us with their goddamn cavalry? Let's go up here. And we will destroy this headhunters once and for all. Bang. Straight in the side there. We should absolutely destroy that unit. Yep, nice. Should be ruined. Absolutely ruined. Right, out, 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 men, out. Out, damn spot. Don't walk, run. Right, and then we should kill them all in this charge, to be honest. Let's go. Bang. Straight in there. Yep, that's them gone. Kill the Warg Marauders now as well. Kill the, uh, I think we go after the Goblin Striders again. What are they doing? Oh, they're going to fight the other unit. Oh, it's a general as well. Shit, I forgot about that. I don't want the general to die. Good. Good. Kill the Marauders. Right. Let's go over this way. You guys, you need to go and hold them up for a bit. The Horde of Cavalry. The Darwinian Cavalry is triumphant once again. Let's go. Oryx Slayers into the back of them. They're really bad against the charge, so we should be good. Broken them instantly. Nice. Get out. Now we've got to charge the side of the Mirkwood Oryx. Hopefully Edward didn't get a good charge this time. Get a rally off, my friend, so you don't die. Bang, straight in there. That should be it. Let's kill everyone. Go, men, go. There we are. Fantastic. Great battle. I can't believe it thought it was so even. Like, how how was that even? I, I don't understand. But anyway, I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And, of course, as usual, let's execute them. Good. Very good. Very good. And uh, our horde of cavalry. Let's combine those two. Only seven. That's pointless. Get rid of that. Uh, I mean, the, the 68 guys as well are kind of a bit useless. Uh, but everyone else did well. Good, 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 good. Horsemaster as well. Nice trait to have. I mean, he very much is a horse master, actually. After watching that, you can understand why he's got that trait. The elves need to go and take that. Let's uh, have a little sneaky peek down here. There's Dor Lingvar, so we actually know where Dor Lingvar is now. And then there's Dolgador. I mean, Dolgador should, should, should fall over pretty quickly now, to be fair. Uh, now, in here, do we send these men forward? The ones we have anyway. I think we do. Just as extra troops in there. And also an extra garrison as well. And uh, yeah, I think we go for Dolgador. I think we go for Barador. Let's go for it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen, right? Doesn't look like they've got a huge amount of troops around this region. So yeah, I'm just worried about this settlement. Because it does border Avalon's Rest and Cargacore uh, Car as well. So they could technically... If they wanted to, still siege these down because it's bordering their settlements. But apart from that, we're doing we're doing all right. We got plenty, plenty good stuff coming. Yes, very good. But yeah, doing okay. Let's keep uh, let's keep pushing against Mordor because Mordor is just really annoying. And honestly, us doing this should really help Gondor out as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if Gondor is doing pretty nicely. To be fair. 
Uh, but we will do a Toggle Fog of War next episode, guys. So we'll do that then, and you will be able to see what we've got up to and where everyone is and how good, how the good and bad factions are doing. I'm assuming the good are winning. Mainly, probably, well, mainly because of us, surely. <laughs> surely because of us. So, I don't know. We might destroy Mordor without having to even destroy the ring, so that'll be pretty good. Uh, but yeah, Mordor does look quite weak in the back right now. They're too focused on sending out three stacks to try and siege about my settlements. Harad's se leader is dead again. Oh my god! Fornos has been rebuilt! Nice! That's fantastic. Well done, Dunedain, because you hardly ever see that. Nazgul returned to Mordor. Avalyn's Rest Mer Merchant Guildhouse. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll take it because it, there's not many of those that can actually go into the game. Harad's decline. Yeah, we've seen they, they keep dying. Uh, when Tyrion Yar is ready to upgrade. So let's cue that in. Good. Uh, Gangle, gang Gangrene is over here. Gangrene. What a name. Yes. Or Gangurlan, but it's basically Gangrene, isn't it? Uh, where do you want to go, my friend? Not Naburka. Naburka's trash. All these places have governors, I believe. Uh, I mean, Mataram's pretty rich. Or oh, we do have a guy in there. How about... We've got a guy. How about Enmahath? I think that's the one for you, my friend. Got someone in Carverad, Vilta, Austin Airy now as well. Don't have anyone in Varfest. But yeah, let's uh, let's send you down to Enmahath. No that was the right one, right? Yeah, Enmahath. Good, right. Carverad got the Mason's Guildhouse. Very good. And yeah, probably time to get a crop rotation. Varfest, yeah, just repairs. Anything else that we need to build? Looks like we're building everywhere apart from, you know, Rawberg. <laughs> Which we're not going to be able to build there, you know, ever, really. You guys get back in. How are we doing in terms of retraining? Can't retrain every single person or train anyone else, really. So, I'm wondering... These guys have all got retrained now, so... Yeah, last retraining. We'll sort the army out now. So we'll have those three, of course, will be in the army. They can't get retrained just yet, can they? Unless they're getting retrained now. No. So we do need another archer. Do we have another archer available? No, but we do have another Avari Naharim. So let's send that Avari Naharim north. Uh, what about in here? Do we have an archer? No, but we've got, we'll have two Moriquendi Sentinels in this army. That's pretty darn scary, to be honest. Uh, and we've got Vine Lord Swain on the way to take that settlement. Uh, or oh, to story. And yeah, down here in Varfest. Yeah, we should go for Dorfalu, really. See, the thing is, I should take out all these armies, but uh, it's so pointless, those battles. So I think we leave the settlement, leave one of these boys in. How are we looking on the settlement now? 70%. So I think yes, probably the Rovanian Spearmen can go in there as well. Let's auto-resolve that. 153! Never auto-resolve, guys. Never auto-resolve. Never auto-resolve, guys. Never auto-resolve. I oh, know they lost men. We hardly lost any men in that. So that's pretty good. Uh, but we will probably actually fight Captain Lungaz. Captain Lungaz! The absolute orc. Right. Let's uh, let's do this battle. To story. I love. I love. Oh my god. What is this absolute shit? He has got some experience though. But Merkwood bodyguards. They are AP these guys. And they got 50 melee attacks. So we've got to be careful about them. But I love the battles where it's uh, a settlement without walls. So we are just going to surround it and pepper them with arrows and uh, hopefully just kill them with our archers so we'll see guys it even looks like it has embankments for us to uh situate our archers on oh yes we're on one of these type of cities well 
I don't think that they're going to even touch our men, to be honest. Uh, we'll have the Avari Naharim over here. We'll also have all the men of the thorn. Thorn got. I said I wasn't going to say that again, didn't I? Um, <laughs> we'll get you there. So, group you all together. And we'll group the Avari Naharim. And we'll group the men of the thorn together. And then over this side, we've got our archers. But we also need these boys. Because they can actually probably fire some things off the top of the hill. So we'll get you guys up here. Uh, we'll get you guys. Can actually probably defend this hill like this. Like so. And then these guys. You can defend the other side of the hill. Oh, I forgot about Vine Lord Swain. But honestly, probably doesn't matter too much. If we can fit you in. Yeah, you get there and run, my friend. And you guys get there. Should be fine. Where's Vine Lord Swain? Oh, he's just over here. That's fine. I think you guys just need to come forward until you can fire at the Mirkwood Goblins. Oh, the Orc Defenders, maybe. Whoever you can fire at, just come to here anyway. And then we'll situate these guys properly. So you guys are the best archers. So we'll get you there. You guys there. You guys there. And these guys should be here. That should be some, some brutal, brutal destruction of them here now. Come on, bladesmen. Avari warriors, you absolute slugs. Stop slugging along and get a bit faster. Looks like they're going to beat us to it. Come on, elves. You're supposed to be fast. These guys should just be raining absolute hell down upon them now. Men of the Thorn. What are they doing? Just blocking all their men together like this. Come on, guys. You've got a really nice shot. This has got a... Brutal shots. Come on. Oh, they're firing at these. It doesn't matter. They're just shredding them. This is... I just love this. It's just so fun to do this. I don't know why I love doing this, but it is fun. Now the elves are in place. You didn't expect this elf. No one expects the elf inquisition, my friends. No one expects the elf inquisition. Wait, they can actually fire from up here. That's nuts. Go on fire then. I think they, if they get closer, they should be able to have more men fire. So let's do that. And we'll... Uh, Get these guys up here as well. You can just walk, though. It's not much of a movement you've done there, my friend. Oh, God, this is glorious. What are they doing? I think they're deciding whether to go that way or this way, and they're just getting shredded. Absolutely shredded. Only half the enemy force remains. This is brutal. This is brutal, brutal, brutal. Well, uh, all the archers, let's stick them on uh, guard mode. I just, I don't know. It's just so fun to see this. Like, like I know it's kind of gamey. And I know it's probably not the most interesting thing to watch. But I just love watching, like, just archers just absolutely just take out a whole army without them, the army even touching us. <laughs> see, look at these guys. They're pretty much dead. They're pretty much dead. One charge from the Avari Naharim and they'd be dead right now. Now they've decided what to do. They're going to come up the hill and get peppered by javelins. Good decision, my friends. Good decision. Okay, now they come. Now they actually are coming to fight us. But I can't see them doing any damage. Where's their general? There he is. He's only got 25 left of the Mirkwood bodyguard, but we've got to remember they are a decent unit. So, oh, deary me. Deary, deary me. Those javelins are so strong as well. They killed great beasts. <laughs> uh, well, why we've got the cavalry around this side, let's get around this side and uh, charge them in the arse. The let's go. Speed it up. They're actually firing arrows at us now. 
Probably you guys don't need to fire anymore. Probably just by firing, just making things worse. Kill the Mirkwood Goblins. Wait, should I actually stop everyone firing right now? Yeah, they've stopped firing anyway, naturally. Let's go straight up then. Guys, guys, do you listen? Go! Charge! Good, General's dead. Should be the battle there now. Uh, where's their general? I mean, the general didn't even do well against the, the blades, the the Avari warriors. So maybe expecting a little bit too much from the orcs. There we are. Forty. <gasps> oh, that's just so. I, I don't know about you guys, but that is just so satisfying. <laughs> that would have been nice if it was zero, but <laughs> who actually got casualties? The Warriors, mainly. Thorn Riders got a couple. Probably from Friendly Fire. To be honest. Yeah, Friendly Fire. <laughs> but anyway, what a glorious battle. I will see you again on the campaign map. Here we are. And, yep. Took to story, which is good now. So I'm glad we can, like, leave this without the North being undefended. Uh, let's sack. Didn't actually destroy anything there when we sacked. Got the Militia Garrison. Hunting Hut, definitely want to keep that. The Grog Hut as well, yep. Nice. Let's keep everything else. And that was just bloody beautiful, wasn't it? Bloody beautiful. Not even too far away from upgrading to Sture now. Uh, but being a town... <laughs> yeah, being a town still is a, is a lot better than, uh, you know, anything else. And we've still got a load of cash. And we don't got nothing to spend it on right now. Uh, I guess we need to expand a bit more. Uh, so, is the next move Dor Lingvar then? I think it is. I don't really... Unless... There's one in... Uh, yeah, this... I mean, could go for Austin Gale. What? Capital? Capital? What has happened? Why is... Why have you moved your capital to Dor Lingvar? You stupid orcs! <laughs> that just doesn't make any sense. Okay, Norway has become Norway the Great now. Fantastic. That is such a good name. I am still a bit wary that we're going to get boat bombed. <laughs> Not even boat bombed, just out of the blue, out of this mist comes a massive army just full of great beasts or something. Um, but yeah, apart from that, we're doing okay. Um, Rawberg's still a bit unhappy. Would be nice if we could upgrade it to another level, but it's not going to happen. How much culture is ours? I mean, we're getting up to 50% Northmen, so they should be getting happier and happier, pretty much. Let's retrain those boys while we can as well. To store a terrible, terrible settlement, but oh well. It just uh, relieves of us of a bit of pressure. The problem is, what we just did to the AI, they could come and just do the same thing to us. So we've got to be... Wary of staying in Tostore for too long. Uh, but yeah, Mornothel. What can we recruit there? Nothing really special. Uh, yeah, you guys need to go back to Strondos. You have moved, haven't you? Uh, slightly scared of these guys by themselves. So what we'll probably do is just go in there. How does Cargo Core? Cargo Core doesn't like it. But we need to protect that army. Baradur. And then we can go and take Baradur. I do hope that we don't get attacked by... By people when we're taking Baradur. I kind of hope that... We can do the siege. Because I'd love to do the siege. I don't think... I've ever done the siege. I've definitely never done the siege on YouTube. And I can't remember the last time I did... Uh, actually siege and it's it's a cool custom settlement so i would like to show that oh well they did the classic and <laughs> uh, i was i was thinking they were gonna have ballista then <laughs> that would have been very annoying wouldn't it <laughs> terribly terribly annoying but anyway uh, I, that shouldn't be too scary of an army unless it's full of great beasts which they seem to be getting quite a lot of the Ar Ardunayim, what are they doing? 
Buralga, yes. Get the merchants killed in Buralga for the boys. I mean, Buralga's not too bad. Yeah, Karagakor, lots of rioting. 1,300 people died in the rioting then. Or orcs, should I say. Uh, <laughs> which does actually make a bit of sense. Uh, but yeah, let's get this army. Whatever we've got here needs to go up to here for their retraining anyway. You're going down to Enmahaf, aren't you, my friend? Good. You're also going into Santanui. Got anyone else? Okay, finally we can retrain these boys. Would like to be able to retrain that Avari Shadow, but maybe have to wait how many turns, maybe? Turns available until next is eight, so yeah, it'd probably be quite a while. We can actually get the Moriquendis before then, but we're going to have enough for another couple of armies. Question is, do we wait for the Avari Armourer? I think not, honestly. I think not. Got a lot of buildings done. Let's do our movements first, because that's what we've just started on. You're moving. Elanin is fine. Carverad is fine. We've got a darn Dolgador army coming. But obviously, this army can move out and kill that army quite easily. Uh, I don't like these armies being around Varfest. Doesn't have a militia thing either. Well, we'll go and take them out next episode. Or I might do it in between episodes because it'll be a really easy battle and kind of pointless. Let's get another Rovanian Spearman because that can act as a uh, garrison. Burr Emeriques. How are we doing for culture? Very good, in fact. Uh, there's not that much in here that's really that useful to us. Let's go for that, though. Uh, Mistran now got the ship right. Oof. Instantly making some serious cash. Let's go for the warehouse. Instant income bonus of 300 florins. Could also get the dockyard. Very expensive. We've also got the trading plaza. All of this is, is very good. I think for the cost that it is, the trading plaza is probably the best option out of those. So let's go for that. Uh, Wintirian Yar. Yeah, we're building that one as well. Vilto got the chicken farming. I think roads would be the, the best option. But are we going to be able to build everywhere else if we build roads? Just remember we've got them in Vilto. Buralga can now get the trading post. Good. Varfest got the standing stones. Let's go straight for the extra tomb. And yeah, Buralga... Repaired its walls. Good, 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 good. So, yeah, we've got Norway. He's going to go and attack them. We've got the guys in Kargakor. Let's. They would stand and fight. It's just absolute utter shit, isn't it? I do feel bad for <laughs> Mordor sometimes, but when you're just fielding shit, I mean, they did field some great beasts, so I can't, I can't criticize them too much they did feel great beasts recently so uh i really need paved roads in enmahaf as soon as possible it's such a slow journey across enmahaf like three turns to move across just that single region so yeah it would be better with some actual roads uh and some extra movement points really How's Karasant do? <gasps> Finally. Good. We can get some more LV boys. Yep. Let's get them. Let's get the ship right. Yeah. We need to get to 9,000 population to actually get the next level here, which would be very good. The training costs are reduced there. I didn't actually realize that. <laughs> but oh well. Are they getting the roads now in, uh, in Ilanin, which is good. It's all Dale still north of us. Uh, which is fine. Not too bad. Uh, it would be nice, actually, to get a general in Burr Alga at some point. But I think Avalyn's Rest is definitely the option there. Let's have a look at our money. Oh, so much corruption. Only making 754 trade. But when you think about where it's trading with, it's only trading with, really, Mataram, Enmahaf, and Oibimari. Uh, once we've got this region, that'll start trading. I know we've got this one, but it won't trade too... Oh, it won't be trading with them now because they're under siege, of course. But yeah, I think we're good, guys. I think we're good. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Please do like and subscribe. Like I say, it really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next 
video.